Welcome back to YouTube channel Saribako Moy Sujan. In this video, I am going to share with you most important MCQ on management theories for MCOM entrance under Guwahati University and other leading universities of Assam. This management theory is very much essential for MCOM entrance under Guwahati University. Every year, question come from this management theories for at least 5 to 10 more. So, this video is very essential for you. If you have not subscribed our channel till now, please do subscribe because these types of videos will come regularly. And you can follow me in Instagram, the link of which is given in the description as well as live on your screen. So, let's start. Question number one Who has put forth the hierarchy of nets? Option A, Edwin Filippo, B, Louis Allen, C, Philip Kotler, D, Abraham Massel. Answer is Abraham Massel. Question number two, food, water, warm, sleep are part of which need? Option A, security needs, B, psychological needs, C, esteem needs, D, self-actualization needs. Answer is psychological needs. Question number 3. Which of the following is the highest level in Marshall's theory? Option A. Security needs. B. Psychological needs. C. Esteem needs. D. Self-actualization needs. Answer is self-actualization needs. Question number 4. Which theory also known as motivation hygiene theory? Option A. Hierarchy of needs. B. Self-determination. C. Two-factor. D. Goal setting. Answer is two factor. Question number five. According to the two factor theory proposed by Harzberg, which of the following is considered a hygiene factor? Option A. Promotional opportunity. B. Quality of supervision. C. Recognition. D. Achievement. Answer is quality of supervision. Question number six. M. C. Cleland. Theory is based on which of the following needs? Option A. Stability, growth and security. B. Achievement, power and affiliation. C. Self-actualization, stability, safety and security. D. Hygiene, control and security. Answer is achievement, power and affiliation. Question number 7. According to goal setting theory, goals are more likely to have a stronger impact on performance when Option A. Goals have long time frames for completion. B. Tasks are complex rather than simple. C. Tasks are independent rather than interdependent. D. Goals are easy rather than difficult. Answer is Tasks are inter independent rather than interdependent. Question number 8. Who propounded the theory of cognitive dissonance? Option A. Abraham Muscle. B. Daryl Bem, C. Leon Festinger, D. Geert Hofstede. Answer is Leon Festinger. Question number 9. Which person developed expectancy theory? Option A. Victor Brom, B. Abraham Massel, C. E. L. Thorndick, D. Clayton Alderford. Answer is Victor Brom. Question number 10. In Broome's expectancy theory, expectancy indicates Option A. Probability of achieving that outcome B. Advancement C. Award D. Accounting Answer is probability of achieving that outcome. Question number 11. Path goal theory of leader effectiveness is developed by Option A. Douglas McGregor B. William Ochi C. Robert House D. Abraham Muscle Answer is Robert House Question number 12. Who propounded the motivation hygiene theory? Option A. Harzberg B. Muscle C. M. C. Gregor D. Peter F. Drucker Answer is Harzberg Question number 13. Leadership is the activity of influencing people 
to strive willingly for group objectives who said this option a keith davis b george terry c gluek d michael porter answer is george terry question number 14 which of the following best describes the primary purpose of a likert scale option a a type of survey distribution method b a statistical method for data analysis c a qualitative research interview technique d a measurement scale that quantifies qualitative data answer is a measurement scale that quantifies qualitative data question number 15 who suggested the generic competitive strategies option a michael porter b peter f drucker c elton mayo d c k prahlad answer is michael porter question number 16 from a statistical perspective what type of data is typically generated by a likert scale option a ordinal data b ratio data c interval data d nominal data answer is ordinal data question number 17 what is the primary reason for using an even point like a scale instead of odd point scale option a it ensures all responses are positive or negative b it makes data analysis simpler c it forces respondents to choose a side avoiding neutrality d it increases the reliability of the scale answer is it forces respondent to choose a side avoiding neutrality question number 18 what common descriptive statistics are more are often used to summarize likert scale data despite its ordinal nature option a mean and standard deviation b ANOVA means analysis of variance without proper assumptions or transformations c regression analysis without proper assumptions or transformations d chi square test answer is mean and standard deviation question number 19 what are the two primary dimensions used in black and mountains managerial grid option a employee satisfaction and profitability b autocracy and democracy c concern for production and concern for people d task orientation and relationship orientation answer is concern for production and concern for people question number 20 according to black and mountains managerial grid which leadership style represents the ideal team management option a high concern for production high concern for people b low concern for production low concern for people high concern for production low concern for people d low concern for production high concern for people answer is high concern for production high concern for people question number 21 which management style on the grid is characterized by low concern for both production and people option a country club management b task management c middle of the road management d impoverished management answer is impoverished management question number 22 the country club management style on the black and mountains grid typically described option a managers who delegate all responsibilities on their team to the team b managers who prioritize employee comfort and moral over task accomplishment c managers who focus solely on efficiency and task completion d managers who balance both production and people concerned adequately answer is managers who prioritize employee comfort and model over task accomplishment 23 which management style aims for adequate organizational performance through a balance of task and relationship concern often settling for satisfying satisfying results option a country club management b task management c middle of the road management d impoverished management answer is middle of the road management question number 24 which well-known framework is commonly used to analyze the competitive structure and attractiveness of an industry option a best analysis b porter's five force analysis c sort analysis d balance scorecard answer is porter's five force analysis 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू सेल्फ डिटर्मिनेशन थियोरी वट आर द थ्री बेसिक साइकोलॉजिकल नीड्स एसेंशियल फॉर ह्यूमन मोटिवेशन एंड वेलविंग ऑप्शन ए ऑटोनोमी कॉम्पिटेंस एंड रिलेटेडनेस बी साइकोलॉजिकल सेफ्टी एंड बिलोंगिंगनेस सी अचीवमेंट पावर एंड एफिलिएशन डी एक्सपेक्टेंसी इंस्ट्रूमेंटेलिटी एंड बैलेंस आंसर इज ऑटोनोमी कॉम्पिटेंस एंड रिलेटेडनेस क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी सिक्स Which of the following is an example of a common barrier to effective communication? Option A, clear message encoding. B, semantic barriers. C, open channel of communication. D, physical proximity. Answer is semantic barriers. Question number twenty-seven. What is the common characteristics of Elon Musk's leadership related to his decision-making authority and involvement? Option A, democratic and consensus-driven. B, Louis's fear and highly Delegating C. Surveillance and employee first D. Autocratic and micromanaging. Answer is autocratic and micromanaging. Question number twenty-eight. Which prominent theorist is most closely associated with the development of charismatic leadership theory in the organizational context? Option A. Robert Hauss. B. Peter Drucker. C. Henry Minspark. D. Max Weber. Answer is Robert Hauss. Question number twenty nine. Which of the following best describes the core principle of Frederick Taylor's scientific management theory? Option A, promoting employee participation and democratic decision making. B, standardizing work methods and in incentivizing productivity through efficiency. C, developing hierarchy of human needs as motivators for work. D, prioritizing employee satisfaction and psychological well being over output. Answer is standardizing. Work methods and incentivizing productivity through efficiency. Question number thirty: Who developed the five forces analysis theory? Option A: Peter F. Drucker. B: Michael Porter. C: C. K. Prahalad. D: Henry Fayol. Answer is Michael Porter. This video has covered extensively most important theories. on management which are very essential for mcom entrance at guwahati university and you have to ensure that you have gone through all the theories of management and if you have benefit from this video please do like share and subscribe our channel and you can follow me via instagram and you can also communicate with me the link of which is given in the description as well as live on the screen जो क्या क्वेरी थे कमेंट बक्स में जब पे और मूल डी एम करे थ्रो इन्स्टाग्राम भिडियो भल लगे लाइक शेयर एंड सबसक्राइब करपहर थैंक यू वेरी माच जय हिंद जय